Hi there, it's Laura Lee. Um, I just wanted to pop over quickly and show you how to do the um, the setup for your email from within HostGator. So I've just popped over to my cPanel. Yours will look very similar. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. And from here I'm going to just scroll down to um, the area on the cPanel where I have my email accounts. So you've already got your domain name registered with um, in your HostGator account and when you click on the email account settings you can add any email address that you want. I have a lot of email addresses but let's just let's just say that I want to um, add an info at asklaurely.com and then I'll just add in a password that I want to use. It, or I could use, I could generate something, you know, um, uh, I could use their password generator right here and um, create a really secure one. I generally set it to unlimited for the mailbox quota. Um, the benefits of having it small, well, they don't really suit my needs very much, but you, you can actually have it smaller and there are some benefits to it for sure. And then I'll click create account. So from this point, I can um, I use Gmail for my uh, regular mail. But if you're using oh hold on, I'll just pop back over to um, to this area. If I wanted to go in and look at the settings for this, I can configure my email client from here. And if you're using Outlook or um, Windows Live Mail or Mac Mail, you can just um, choose the settings that are right here. And it will go. Um, it will actually add something to your computer immediately, and it will just set up everything for you. Um, I personally prefer the IMAP settings because it syncs it syncs my email on all devices. So if I'm using my Gmail account or I'm using something on my computer, my if it was Mac or PC, um, and on my phone, it will always show. Um, messages that have been read or drafts that have been created and you're not running back and forth between different devices so IMAP is best for that and um, yeah if you were if I was on um, I do actually have M Microsoft Outlook on this computer so I could click on this IMAP and it would open a prompt and it would start doing the setup for the for Outlook on my computer but I'm gonna skip that and I'm gonna head over to Gmail and go over to the little gear section here and into settings from here, from here, I will. Um, I should have. I should have actually created this already. But we've got a forwarding. No, I don't want that. Um, my accounts, I think. Yeah, here it is. So I want to add another email address of my own, and I'll leave the name as that. We'll see if it just sets it up automatically. It really should, um, but sometimes you have to do a little bit of extra fiddling. So let's say info at slrly.com and click on next step and see what happens with this. I haven't done it for a little while. And yeah, that's perfect. So we'll just choose their defaults. And do a verification. Okay, so it looks like for, with the verification, I'm going to need to go um, into my webmail here, back at HostGator, and let's see, log into their webmail part. So, you get to see what their webmail looks like. It's not very um, user friendly, but you can certainly use it if you want to. Well, sometimes it's not user friendly, it's a little bit. Um, old school. I guess maybe that's the best way of describing it. It's kind of it's old. Um, all right. So here's that password that they were going to send to me. Um, here we go. There we go. So I'm going to just copy that and go back to my Gmail settings and. And enter that code. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, so hypothetically, this should be ready to go, but I might need to go in and um, change some settings. You can take a look through yours and see if it makes if everything with this makes sense. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. And then I would just send myself a test email and make sure that everything worked the way that I expected it to. And um, yeah, hopefully it should. And then there's always that backup, right? You can always go into your cPanel and go over to um, to Open Mail in in their webmail feature, and your web your email will be um, synced up in there as well. So hopefully this helps, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.